This is over single phase VRF. So that guy, three phase, this is a single phase. Right here, right? Two, three, four, five ton heat pump, three, four, five ton heat recovery possible with this one. Add a heat, uh, heat recovery box and you will have the heating and cooling simultaneously. Water source VRF units, three phase uh, air cooled, three phase water cooled units. You want to add it to condensing water to uh, water in and out, and then you get your VRF. Any type of indoor units which you're seeing here can be combined with this guy or this guy to give you more flexibility into the indoor units how you gonna how you want to design your system. This side is your one to one DFS uh, multi zone units which are working on uh, home runs. So right. the different, difference between VRF and these units are, these are mostly home run. So if you had two way. units, you'd have two sets of pipes. Two sets of pipes going in and out. Like because, I do in my home. Because right. your uh, expansion wall is sitting in the outdoor unit. Got it. In the VRF, your expansion wall is sitting in the indoor units. And same on these units. This is a bigger model of uh, multi F. These units have branch selector boxes, which can have the heat, which will have the EEVs in there. Which gonna do your expansion for your indoor units? Love it. So those are the indoor units. This is your heat recovery box for your VRF systems. Eight port box. Each port can have his own uh, uh, mode. You right. Got heating and cooling on that side. A unique feature for LG is the pipe through. If you see both sides, you have the pipes coming in and out. Right. That is your. You don't have to put the Y branches. You can go till 230 kbtu. So you can go right through the box. Right to the box, you don't have to add the Y branch. 